Hello everyone. Welcome to BMC Discovery. In this video, we will have a look how to discover hosts with Windows just in a administration. Windows JEA enables administrators to permit non-admin users to execute specific CMD lists and external processes without granting them full administrator privileges. By using JEA in BMC Discovery, you can discover Windows hosts without providing credentials with full administrator access. JEA is supported for PowerShell and Active Directory Windows Proxy. So let's have a look how to configure the JEA using PowerShell. I am logged in to the Windows machine on PowerShell terminal. The first step is to create a role capability file. Now we have created the role capability file. We can verify the same by going into the folder. Next step is to create a session configuration file. This configuration file is linked with the JEA role capabilities file from the previous step. This will be used for the JEA endpoint configuration. So we have created two directories for storing the session configuration file and the log directory which will have all the logs related to JEA. Next step is to create a group where local or active directory users will be added. Now we will create the session configuration file. The session configuration file is created. To verify this, we can go to the directory as mentioned in the above path. So here we can see the session configuration file is created. Using this command, we can test whether the session configuration file created was correct. Next step, we will register the session configuration file. Before that, we need to enable the PowerShell remoting. Registering the session configuration file makes the endpoint available for the users. So now we have registered the JEA endpoint and this is the JEA endpoint name. Now we will create a local user and add it to the group which we created earlier. Now we will restart the Windows Remote Management Service. Using the enter ps session command, we can check if all the configuration is correct. So we can see as the PowerShell configuration is correct and now we can configure the credentials to discover the Windows host. I am logging in to the discovery 24.1 appliance using system user. From the manage credentials page, we can add the PowerShell credentials. Let's give a label name. In the username, I will give the user which we created in our PowerShell configuration. Provide the password. Let's enable the JEA and give the endpoint name. The endpoint name is the JEA endpoint name given while registering the session configuration. Now let's save the credentials and perform a scan. The scan is in progress. So the scan is completed. Let's verify the results of the scan. As we can see the host is discovered successfully. Let's open the host. So we can see the Windows host is discovered successfully with all the attributes. Let's open the discovery access node. So here we can see all the discovery methods which are executed using the PowerShell method and the credentials used are PowerShell JEA. That's all for this session. Thank you for watching.